You've probably clicked onto this because you're sick of doing this. Finding the exact surface on your top with a piece of paper. No, it's so tedious than doing this all the time, especially when you're changing from a roughing out bit to a uh, V cutting bit. So, in this one, I'm going to show you how not to do it like this, but show you how to install and set up everything so you just can go just like this. And that will automatically put your router bit to zero off the top of your block. So if I auto put to zero on the Mark III, that should go directly just onto the face of that paper. Like that. That's pretty, pretty close to be fair. So in this short video I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to wire one of these up, one of these up and also show you your pins and ports and your script to make this run properly without wiring this up into your breakout board. You've probably see, all seen these on interweb uh, eBay, Amazon, all your forums and such like. This one uh, came from Korea, uh, about 25 quid, something like that. Plus, on top of that, you've got import duty, so that stands me at about 33. Uh, in my opinion, a bit dear for a bit of wire and a bit of aluminium. I think these were first um, designed for the for laves. Uh, you get two meters of wiring with it, nowhere near enough, uh, especially for our machine here at Wood Tech. Uh, our machine here at Wood Tech, I don't know if you can see this, I can run a drop a 8 before sheet on it. So for me to run from where it is up here, down my wire track, along my wire track here, up that way, and all the way back down to my breakout board, which is under the bench down here. You're probably looking at about five meters plus of wiring I'd need to do with that. Um, so I, I would have had to join, join it, um, which in my opinion is not, not very good to be quite honest with you. Um, then there's messing about, stripping out breakout board out and uh, messing about with ports and pins inside there, well pins, uh, to find out what's free and what's not. So, uh, us at Wood Tech have uh, put us thinking caps on and come up with this. Um, all it is, is on, on our machine we've got as uh, homing switches, we've got one on top there, uh, we've got one there, and we've got one on end down here somewhere. What they do is when I, when I kick it onto home position, reference all home, that'll fire it straight up into that top corner up there. And uh, that's basically all these switches do. Um, so what I've actually done here is on the wiring is I found a suitable place to, for my ground, which is here. Um, this is this has got to have conductivity between your end mill and up here. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. And all I've done is run the wire down the wire chain to a connecting block down here and wide it up into my Z homing switch. Right, on top I've got a homing switch. This is one of them. Uh, this is a spare one I've got. Um, this is basically identical to what I've got up here with this little light on top there. This uh, tells me Z. When, to, when it's in home position, which is right up at the very top. Um, on this, you've got three wires. You've got a uh, ground, you've got a constant live and a switch live. 
that's basically all this is. Um, so on your touch probe, what's wiring up onto this, you'd be using two of these wires, depending on your machine, it depends on which colour really. Um, the ones you need is your ground and your constant live. Um, you'll know when you gave it wrong because when you go into your Mark III it won't show up on your uh, diagnostics which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, the most important thing is to get conductivity through your machine. Without that your router bit at the bottom will just keep going and keep going. It won't sense that the probe's there. Right, first thing you need to do is find out if you've got any conductivity between your end mill and where you're wanting to ground your uh, probe what, what you're after is a little bleeping noise through one of these um, they're cheap enough I think that cost me about 10 or something like that so what you need to do is you need to make sure that this part goes through to where you want to ground it so if I'm grounding it here I'll be looking yeah that's a good one I've grounded it right up here, which is the easiest point for me, and that's running through. If your machine has got a different motor on top, we've got um, with like plastic bearing housings, you won't get this at all. It'll just it'll just be dead. But on ours, we can roughly put it anywhere we want on the machine. We're all being metal when it goes through. There you go. Um, this is important if you don't get good conductivity between your ground and your end mill this part here will just keep going through the bench um, we've, we've located ours up here just at the end of wire track convenient place for us right after you've found that you're looking for your wire what comes from your little switch on top down into your uh, wire track. Uh, I've put a connection block on here. There's three wires in that little little switch on top, so I've got three little blocks here. Um, what I need what I need is my ground, which on this one is black, and a constant live. Um, if you get these wrong way around. It'll show up in Mark III that it's it's not working properly. Just jiggle them about, or you can put a test light on them, see which see which ones you live. Uh, in this one, uh, let's have a look. On the light switch, me blues blues me ground, and me black's me constant live. Which which in the other side is me black is me ground and my white is my constant live in the other side so that is actually piggybacking onto uh, my omi switch which is in me on my Z right onto the business side uh, mark 3 um, I'll just change my uh, screen set to one you're familiar with uh, I'll find it There we go. Right, you're all familiar with screen. Uh, this is the button down here for your auto zero on your Z axes. Um, there are a few bits we need to do before then. We need to go into as diagnostics, and what we're looking for is this little light here. When we touch the probe onto Enmil, this should light up. I'll just do it now, just to show you. Touching it, yeah, lit up, away, gone. That's telling me that that is finding that probe sensor when I touch. So everything's correct there. Right, the next thing to do is find out what pin that is on. So we need to go into where? Uh, let's have a look. Want to find it? Pins and ports. What you need to do is input signals. Uh, we're looking for a Z. Z home which is pin number 13 part number one so we need to scroll down and find out this probe which is here so this is exactly the same as what 
as Z Homies. Part 1, pin 13. I'm going to scroll down when I find it. Lost it now. Probe, here we go. Uh, part 1, pin 13, exactly the same as that home position on that Z. Uh, if you're not quite sure which part it is, you can go into automatic setup inputs, click on this, um, look for your probe, probe switch, and press OK. That should find exactly the same one as as your Z setting. Just touch your probe on end and it'll come up here, raw part data. It'll show you exactly which one it is. Well, this is already set up for that. When you've done that, just press OK. And that's your pins and parts set up. Right, your script for making this run properly. Um, let's have a look. Do 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 do. Right, VB script editor, edit script buttons. This is the one you want. When you press that, you'll find all these start flashing. Yeah, the one you want in is this auto zero. Click on that, and it'll bring up your script script dialog this is a script dialog for um, what I'm running here at the moment I'll just run through it quickly where uh, your probe height that's your probe height get some uh, digital gauges on there get an exact height for that as is uh, 9.28 from as uh, workpiece then I've got two speeds you got High speed and my low speed. My high speed is uh, my first touch, my low speed is my second touch to finally tune it to get me auto zero. Uh, we'll go down a little bit further. This is my pro bike when it's finished. Uh, I've got it lifted up to 15 looking at this. Yeah, 15 mil off top of me. Uh, touch plate with speed of 600 when you're setting yours up this has got to be really critical this uh, we've had ours on here for about 18 months and this does actually vary with temperature in here uh, just a couple of digits that's all but apart from that just keep checking it so that's your script what I'll do I'll paste this into the description below just copy and paste it into your into your script and away you go simple as that easy peasy uh, no messing about wiring it up into your breakout board just piggyback it straight off one of your homing switches if you haven't got homing switches and you've just got normal micro switches just make sure they're in uh, open position when they're not in use and I think you'll have no problems I can't see you having any problems at all to be honest with you Easy peasy, there you go, have fun.